Hello YouTube, welcome to this segment of my uh, series videos on uh, how to's. Um, today I found some very uh, good car cleaning products. This is a tutorial video on some of the best car cleaning products that I found and have used and have gotten the best results from. First of all, I want to start with um, just saying um, that I did make videos uh, previously on cleaning the interior and exterior of a car. I did examples of that and I even made how, you know, I even showed me doing that. Well, back then I didn't find as good as stuff that I have now. First off, I want to start off with your basic Armrol products. Um, Armrol makes a wide variety of shining products and cleaning products. Um, I want to start with this product right here. This is Armrol Cleaning Wipes. You can buy these or you can buy the spray. You can buy the spray version of these. Um, this is a cleaning tool before you use protectant, Armrol protectant. The, uh, these have also got the, you can get the uh, glass cleaner wipes for these and also the wipes version of the, you know, the shine, the protectant. Um, I found that these wipes do work pretty good. They come handy, or you can get the most expensive, which I found is the uh, Armor Off Spray uh, Multi-Purpose Interior Cleaner. This is safe for all interior surfaces. The next thing I found actually is cheaper than Armor Off to protect the interior and give it a, a low gloss shine. This is Turtle Wax F21 Super Protective. Um, this stuff that has been recently redesigned about a year ago. The copyright date on this is uh, 2009. This stuff blocks damaging ultraviolet rays and heat. It cleans the dirt and dust off and sticky stains too. It has a natural finish and it's non-greasy. So it's it's dry to the touch. I've used this a lot on our cars. It's starting to get low. Um, this this costed two something versus Armrol's uh, protectant which costs three something and I found that this works best and lasts the longest. Um, so that's a good uh, bargain for your car for protectant. So I found that these wipes, the interior cleaner wipes, which you go over the whole interior first, uh, the dash, the door panels, vinyl, rubber, plastic, everything. You clean it first with this, I found works best. You don't want to use a multi-purpose cleaner like a degreaser on your dash. It sometimes can hurt it, and I actually found that out with my mom's uh, car, the last car she had, that Chevy Malibu. So, the, these two products can give you a very, very, uh, you know, it's not worthless. It is worth something because these two products clean and shine and protect the best for, I think, for the bargain. These are what I found the best. Um, another segment, another part of this video I want to talk about is upholstery cleaning. I actually found this at a store near me who sort, uh, sells surplus stuff. Um, this is a QC Automotive. Uh, you can see, you can read the back here and I'll give you an up close to the front. Uh, this came in a foam. As you can see, it's a foam. And it deodorizes too. Um, I used this on my mom's car. It's costing me $249. I, in general, the foaming cleaners uh, do pretty good for your the value. Um, you can pretty much do the carpet and the seats with a foaming cleaner and a brush. So I found some of the best products of these is uh, this one, QC brand, automotive, and Prestone. Prestone makes a interior... Uh, shampoo in a can with a foaming brush on the top. It's about this tall and you spray it downwards and you scrub like that on your seats and carpet and it deodorizes and it's in a dark red can. It's called Prestone Interior you know, Foaming Cleaner. Um, some of the best wash I found is made by Turtle Wax. This was actually on clearance at my local drug mart because they're not carrying it anymore. This is half wash and half wax. This stuff works the best on uh, washing your car periodically. After you wax it, I found liquid glass is the best car polish for 
um, I found that work, works for me is the best car polish, liquid glass. And then to top it off, washing your car regularly with this. Um, you only need just a cap full, and you shake it up. See, once you shake it, you can see that this stuff, it moves around and it all blends in towards one whitish color, creamy color. And then you use that, and I actually bought a whole bunch. I'll show you in a bit in my tray here, um, because it was on clearance. Um, I also found that this does pretty good. This by Turtle Wax. It's not as good as that. Some of the best tire shine and protectant and cleaner in one step is made by this. This is actually an Armor All product, but it's got the STP name on it. Um, all you have to do with this stuff is spray it on the tire, let it sit, and technically that's it. But what I do is I clean the tire first with a uh, one of the best cleaners I found. What was a multi-purpose cleaner sold at Family Dollar I got was uh, LA's Totally Awesome multi-purpose cleaner and degreaser that works good for almost everything except you know the parts that ain't safe inside the car it works good on removing salt and stuff off the car which is not only the best thing to use and the tires and the rims it gives it a brand new look that cleaner is for a dollar I got a family dollar um this right here is STP son of a gun no buffing no uh, wiping at all but I you spray this on it gives it a really good shine for a while and I think this lasts the longest and it was only like two something too it's in a aerosol can some of the best stuff for removing oxidation off of your uh, headlights and plastic parts of the body and tail lights I found was McGuire's plastics polish this costed I'm not sure I can't remember but it's lasted me quite a while it's made in the USA and Meguiar's gives a good um, quality you know finish to your car it does a good job and this requires hardly any effort a yellowed headlight I took I just put this on a rag buffed it in and just basically buffed it out so this is a good product for removing headlight oxidation and taillight oxidation so overall I gave you a pretty good variety of just some of the products used to clean a car. Although there is some more. Although there is a lot of products I'm missing. But these can give you a helpful start to periodically cleaning your car if you do so. And um, I know I made a lot of those videos before. But I just wanted to recap since, you know, if you didn't look back on the channel, I'm just going to re-upload. So that way you don't have to do that if you don't want to. So I will pan the camera over here so you can see these products. These products work the best for me. Tire Shine, STP Son of a Gun, a foaming cleaner for the carpet and seats, Armor All uh, cleaning wipes, they stay moist guaranteed or the armor all pre this is a pre cleaning before you use one of the best interior protectants which I found is this made by turtle wax this gives me the best longest shine in the car and it also does some cleaning too and it also blocks you know of course it does the same thing as armor all and it's cheaper and it does me better plastics polish by Meguiar's takes away the headlight oxidation and tail light oxidation for me and plastic parts on the car and of course these, this line of products, I think it was turtle wax, zip wax, wash and wax. It leaves no spots, which doesn't mean not to dry your car. But it works real good, and I plan on using this stuff in the springtime. As you can see, it was on clearance, so I bought a whole bunch. So I'm going to put all these back in here. And these are some of the products that work best for me. Give them a try and see if they work best for you if you are a, a if you do take pride in cleaning your car. If you do so, try these products and see if they work for you. They work for me real good, and we'll see what happens. So this is just uh, part one of my videos coming for uh, for uh, how to maybe some more how to videos. So we'll let me get this on this video on, and we'll see what happens and get going. Take care, guys. I forgot to mention um, the, these cleaning tools work best for me too. Um, this is a mitt. I don't wash the car with this because I don't think it's abrasive enough. 